Um, but right now we're just gonna settle in. We're just gonna really bring awareness to your body and like what would be a comfortable position today? In a way, we kind of take this seriously of um, how this matters, like just how you're choosing instead of like, oh, whatever, I'm just sitting, arranging the body. And today, our focus, our theme is going to be around the space of your chest the um even just your rib cage itself you could take your hands on your ribs if you want to just right at your lower ribs and kind of feel this lifting up of the ribs you're going to pull them up straight up and then as you take your hands back down that that continues to lift up at the same time you keep your shoulders relaxed down so it's really like it's just the ribs lifting up And that's going to lift up through your spine. So you might close your eyes. Sometimes that can help to really feel. And then as you're breathing now, notice how your rib cage is actually expanding and contracting. It's almost like a, a barrel, you know, with the, the cage of the ribs. In between the ribs are little muscles. And even those teeny little muscles can get tight or just weak and underused like any muscle. Now inside of your ribs or your lungs, start to feel or imagine your lungs. You might feel a little bit of expanding and contracting of this space. You could imagine your heart. And the heart right away, you know, we might, you might even be able to feel your heartbeat. But there's also then just this quality of the heart mind to see like today, what is your attitude? What's your mood? And just to appreciate right now that you're taking this time to practice, to be with, to just be with your body, just as it is. We're gonna reach the arms out to the side and just start to feel the Space of the chest again now. So during class, um, I'm going to be referring to not only the ribs and the chest, but I'm going to um, bring in this image of like doors, like doors around your heart. So when you now take your arms forward and start to round your back like cat pose. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades apart, even pull your navel in a little bit. And you're opening the back door of the heart. Like imagine that space really opening up. And then the arms go to the side and they go back a little bit as you open like the front door of your heart. Oh, and then we just do this back and forth. You could exhale, arms come forward and you open the back door and then you inhale and you open the front. So this is worth repeating back and forth, really feeling the space around the rib cage is starting to open up. You might notice that there's tension or even soreness you know, sometimes when we, um, even sleeping at night, you know, you might sleep in a funny way and it's like, oh man, my ribs hurt. <laughs> so you just never know what is going to just lead to some stiffness. 
or just life itself, everyday tension can really um, leave the space around the chest, the heart, um, with some heavy armor around it. Now we're gonna take the arms down, the hands down, and just sitting upright. Let's keep your right hand down and reach your left arm up. So there's that kind of side door, or you might imagine a window, like a little window opening up in the left side of the body. Breathe into that space. Ah, really full awareness, exploring, and then switch sides. As you're switching, maybe that window, it's not just a little portal window. It's like really, it's just like it's getting bigger because of your awareness opening up that space. Let's do a few of these back and forth. Really sensing the ribs. You can take your arm wherever you want. <laughs> The feeling of it breathing into the side chest. And possibly just a, a pleasantness here of, oh, it feels good to create some space inside of my rib cage. You know, suddenly I can just breathe easier. So in a very practical way, you know, this yoga has just this really practical element Things just flow better. Hmm. Good. Now, as we let this go, you can bring your arms down and you're going to just undo seated pose and move right onto your back. So there's nothing like the nice, flat, hard floor to um, open your chest. You know, when you lay back, it's really hard to round your back or slouch when you're laying on the floor. So take your arms out, feel the space across your chest, the throat or your windpipe. You know, it's also, um, you might notice when you bring awareness to your chest, you might feel your throat or your spine also. Take your legs up into the air. And then let's first circle your feet around and just notice the ankles moving. Move your toes. And then just flexion where you reach your toes up and then you pull your toes down towards your chest and they just go up and down. That kind of pointing and flexi flexing action. And just really get into that. I'm working my ankles. Keep doing this now, but bring like half of your awareness to your chest. Notice what's happening inside your ribs. So we're just looking. Is there any tension here? Could I kind of free up the space of my chest? Yeah, keep moving your feet up and down. So we're, we're doing that with the feet because um, we just want to notice, is there fatigue that comes in? And we just keep working it. Is that wild breathing and big space of the chest around the heart? And then go ahead and bring the right knee into the chest. So you just pull that right knee down and the left leg can just lower against the mat. Lengthen out, but really keep that space of the chest, you know, really nice and open. Breathe and just feel your lungs, like the lungs are starting to explore this fuller capacity. Switch legs. So bring that left knee in, right leg lengthening out. But space of the chest, you might shift your shoulder blades. Ah, and then as you do this back and forth, aware that, of course, your legs are moving, but you're aware of your chest. 
nice and open. And then feel the soles of your feet. Like really open the soles of your feet here. The sense of the energy moving through soles of the feet. So the energy has to go down through your legs. It's like you're connecting your the soles of your feet to your heart. And this, there's this passageway from the soles of the feet to the heart. Nice and open. Hmm, good. Yeah, you can use your arms if you like that assisting of drawing your thigh in. That's fine. As long as you don't suddenly like you know, cave in or squeeze your heart. This just stays open. And then just letting go of that action. And let's just take the legs just out to the side. So the legs are in like a wide open V shape. Straighten in the leg, but keep the spine lengthening. Keep the space in your chest flowing. Ah. And then go ahead and bend the knees. And go ahead and roll to one side. And as you roll to the side, you're coming back up. Let's just go to all fours. So that your knees can have a little space. And yeah, we are gonna move right into just a little cat and cow movement. So with cat and cow, I suggest you start kind of small here with these curves of the spine, this wave-like movement of the spine. Feel the space around your chest, the ribs. Like, just see if there's resistance, like, oh, it's like, oh, I can't. My, my ribs are, you know, so it's normal, really, because of just tension that we hold, that this, this area can just get really tight. So the repetition, then, as you're doing this, letting the lungs, imagine the lungs really opening up. Your breath itself, when you inhale, kind of stretches and opens the rib cage. So taking even a fuller, deeper, longer breath and get into that exhale as it squeezes. And when you're going back and forth here in Cat and Cow, there's the front door of the heart opening and then there's the back door. It's like open the front. Opening the back. Ah. Hmm, good. And then as we pause here, taking your right hand, reach it forward and a little bit over to the left. And then we're going to take the hips back. Let that left forearm drop down. So we're getting into the right side. The right window opening up make sure you don't like tug you don't want to tug too hard at like uh, pushing this like breathe into that space into that right rib cage area imagine that window really opening up and then as you come up Right hand comes back and then the left arm going forward. Hips reaching back. The right forearm dropping down. And you're just breathing here. Hmm. Imagine that whole side opening up. As you come up, left hand comes back. Now, 
you're going to take the hands forward a little bit to prepare for down dog and really feel that weight bearing. Now, before you pop up into this pose, feel the hands, the pressing, the weight bearing, and then the arms straighten. Then the toes tuck under. And as you start to lift up here, you look back to your feet. And we're going to do that walking action. So one heel lifts up and the other one drops down. And then you switch. And you just let this move back and forth. Exploring that ankle movement again. Hmm. But this time there's the weight bearing. So the soles of the feet getting a little massage here. Now keep doing this in your own exploratory way, but bring awareness to your chest. Breathe into the chest, feel it. In down dog, the spine is extending. So that means all the doors and the windows are open. They're all open, even, nice and fluffy. Yeah, and let that just bring energy and awareness through your spine, maybe your arms straightening. And then go ahead and touch your knees down. So we're back on all fours. You could take hands under shoulders. We're gonna take the knees close together. And just for repetitive action for your hips, we'll lift the right knee, lift the right leg up out to the right. And then it drops down. Even that, you know, you don't have to lift your leg as high as you possibly can. So just feel the left leg. Like, oh, left leg is lifting. Stay grounded, you know, push into the floor and then dropping the leg down. And now just go back and forth, lifting and lowering, breathing, waking up the strength in your whole body to do this. And then again, keep doing this, but bring awareness to your chest. Oh yeah, there's, um, it's easy to suddenly forget areas of the body. So we're practicing mindfulness centered on the whole body. Instead of just lifting the knee out to the side, start to take the leg back and it straightens. So I'm taking my leg back, but a little out to the side, like just slightly out. Playing with that. You could then take the leg straight back, like just reach back. Notice the difference. It's good to just do this variety of movements. Feel the chest, the rib cage really nice and open. Good. And then moving back to down dog. So the toes are under as you lift up here. Let's um, take the heels and lift both heels way up. And then reach both heels down. And then lift both up. So this now up and down is really different than one at a time. And just do it a few more times and feel your chest. Feel your whole spine. Open your arms nice and strong. Ah, good, and then the knees will come down again. This time as you touch your knees down, the knees will go wide apart. So one of my favorites when we're aware of the chest here is the action of twisting to really keep aware, stay aware of your whole chest. So take left hand a little more towards the center and then start to open your right shoulder, pressing into the earth, press down as you twist open. 
but feel all the doors and windows stay open here in your chest. The whole space and then the hand comes down and we go to the other side. So feeling like, oh, like imagine the lungs have all this big space. So as you go back and forth, you just move in a way where you keep expanding the chest. And this might help um, keep awareness of your spine and that if you wish to twist, you have to have space in your spine. If you have space in your spine, you probably have space in your chest. Space begets space. Ah, like even what you're doing with your head, like what, what, how much are you twisting and like cranking your neck or your head? So we're very sensitive and aware to this inner feeling of spaciousness. And as we let this go, we get to go back towards downward facing dog. Pressing, lifting the hips way up. Ah, and then choosing like how much you're reaching the heels down. Because if you're reaching your heels down, you need to keep the space around your heart. So this physical spaciousness can actually start to really awaken something like compassion. Keeping your heart open. Our whole practice being led by our heart. So go ahead and walk forward. Come up to standing, just push into your feet, come all the way up. Oh, and then just reach the arms up, ground your feet. So feel the soles of your feet. Now you can keep your arms up. You could keep your arms out to the side, but we're going to practice lifting and lowering the heels. So this lifting as high as you want or not high, especially at first. It might be just a teeny little lift of the heels. Practicing. Always noticing that if this feels like the ankles feel either like, oh, they want to bend or bow or they're just feeling wobbly or even like a little weak. I'm always surprised how much easier this is when I touch something. If I touch the wall and like, oh, now I'm just, I'm not going to fall down. I'm not going to have the, the big wobble moment. So, you know, don't hesitate. Use a little touch point. Waking up. Light heart. So notice if there's that tensing. Chest is open. Good. And then just pause. Move towards the front of your mat. And then with the, so we just work to the ankles in a way. So you have, uh, keep some awareness around your ankles as you go into a little bit of a sitting here, like you're squatting. The pose of Utkatasana, sometimes called chair pose. Arms go forward. So we're gonna stay like the legs, lower body here is gonna stay in this little squat. But our upper body, our spine is gonna do a cat and cow action. So go ahead and draw your navel in, scoop your tailbone under, and then open the back door of your heart. Pull the shoulder blades apart. 
Good. And then as you let this go, you do the opposite. So now the spine pulls into the body. You reach your arms out and the front door opens. And you go back and forth. So big awareness of the ribs, front ribs, back ribs. But even aware of the soles of the feet and your ankles, you know, they are, there's a lot of energy there. And strength. So there's no drooping energy. Yeah, big wave. Even notice the energy moving down through your arms. Even out through your fingertips. Flowing. The pelvis is moving. You have the tucking and untucking of the tailbone. Good. And then we're just going to fold right over. Full forward bend. A good one for the whole like chest spine is to just let your fingers lift up through the on the fronts of your legs like you slide your hands up lift the chest a little bit and really open the chest big wide open keep the chest nice and fluffy and open as you go over So in other words, in your Utkatasana here, try not to let your heart sink in too much, but drop your head. Sometimes we're keeping the chest open and all of a sudden we're like lifting our head up. So you could keep the heart open while dropping your head. So that just describes like the work of this pose, this forward bend. Move back to down dog. And just pause and be still with this focus. Legs nice and strong, arms strong, and there's the whole chest nice and open. And then your plank pose. Be aware of the whole body. Lightly your knees touch down and then lower onto your belly. Now legs extend back, and I always like to start with your pubic bone grounding down here, and then the heart reaches forward. So could this just be heart-led? Ah. Breathing into the space of the chest. Ah. Lower down a little bit. You know, one option for cobra pose is, well, there's two ways of practicing. You could use your arm strength or don't use your arm strength. So go ahead and lift up again, lift up a little bit and even lift your hands. Like you, if you can lift your hands here, this means you're using your back strength. But then place your hands down and actually use a little arm strength to lift higher. Reach the heart forward. Really opening that front door, lower down, lift your hands. Like no arm strength. And just play one more time, maybe taking your hands down, lifting a little higher, just explore the kind of the back bendiness. <laughs> Like if I lift up higher, I could never stay up here with just my back strength. And as you lower down, lengthen and lift your legs just a little bit. There's that, ah, that strength in the legs. 
As you let that go, toes tuck under and you move back to down dog. Breathe here. Feel the chest in your down dog. Wide, open those side windows here. Walk the feet forward. And then as you come up to standing, you push into your feet. You reach your arms up. A little lift of the heels, lower the heels, you know, practicing this. The practicing, the repetition is, I find this, you wake up how the muscles and the bones have to really orchestrate together to do this kind of a smoother lifting and lowering. Good, and then arms go out. So we'll take the hands behind. We're gonna take and interlace the fingers behind. So yoga mudra, the pose of yoga mudra is really good for keeping the chest space open while you go to a forward bend. So draw your shoulder blades together here, keeping that front door open and just stay there as you go to your forward bend. You might lift your arms up a little bit. Yes, you can bend your knees, but do not droop your ankles. So yeah, feel that like the work of like pulling up through your ankles. Drop your head and draw your shoulder blades together. Breathe and feel. Ah, space. And as you release your fingers, hands come down, you move back to downward facing dog. Moving to your plank pose. Lightly, knees touch down, you lower down onto your belly. And as you reach your legs back, you start to move to a back bend. Could this be heart led? Even in a really practical way, just physically, like how, you know, when you lift a cobra, obviously there's gonna be a point where you, you don't lift anymore, you're just there. That's it. A good place to just be. You're checking in on this possibility of being at ease. And feeling the space around the heart. Aware of your whole body. If you want to lift your legs, you could do that or even reach your arms back to full. Shalabhasana, locust pose. Keeping the heart open. Hmm. Yeah, and then as you let this go, we'll move back to down dog. Lifting up. So you're aware of the space of your chest and that um, position of your feet, your, how much your heels are lifted. Ah, oh, now you're going to take your right leg and just lift it up. Reach that right leg up. And then the right knee is going to bend and you're going to pull your knee in towards your chest. Notice how this takes you to a little rounded back. It might open the back door a little. And then you reach your leg back up and now all the doors open because this is more just the extended spine. Pull the knee into the chest again. 
squeeze. Reach the right leg up. Do that one more time. You pull the knee in, squeezing. Reaching the right leg way up. All the doors open. <laughs> And now that right knee bends and you're gonna step it forward as the right foot steps up. Let's find our footing here as we prepare for warrior one. So the left foot's gonna drop down. You really feel the soles of the feet open. You lift up away from the floor, ground your back heel. So here's that connection like from the sole of the foot left heel all the way up to the heart you get that nice passageway like ah oh, grounding i feel that energy in the foot to the ankle all the way up to the chest the heart reach your arms out so yes warrior one opens the front now we don't want to do this like too much of a back bend here so you actually draw your navel in a bit. Press that back heel down. Let open the upper chest. Reach the arms up. So that reaching up of the arms is really, it just helps for the ribs to lift. But we have to also stay grounded. Now exploring as we move to warrior two, right from here. So you have to open the chest to the left and you reach your arms now forward and back. And you have to reposition your feet a little bit. The left foot will open slightly and keep aiming that right knee forward. So breathe and feel. So warrior two definitely is not a back bend. So we draw the navel in and we feel that lifting straight up. So breathe and feel the chest. The flow through your whole spine, soles of the feet. Ah. You're sweeping around this area of mindful breathing, heart open. So triangle pose is a great pose to be aware of these doors and windows. Straighten right leg. You could even take left hand to your hip. And as you hinge in your triangle pose, as you extend out to that right side, take your right hand on your leg. And be aware of the front door, the back door of the heart, the two side windows, they're all open. Ah. And if they're open, there's that flow through your spine, tailbone, crown of the head, the whole length maybe reach that left arm back up. Ah. Feel the soles of your feet, nice and open. Ankles, strong. Mm, the top arm, that left arm is gonna drop down and you move back to down dog. Breathe. Moving through your plank pose and onto your belly. As you land, the legs go back. You start to reach the heart forward. Ah. A little cobra pose. The 
letting go, moving back to down dog. So the left leg is going to lift up, it's going to reach up. And then bend that left knee, pull the knee in towards your chest, letting the back door open. Uh, but then when you reach the leg up, like, and now everything opens up, the chest, the whole barrel opens up, pull the knee into your chest, squeezing. Left leg reaching up again. Breath flowing, pull the knee into the chest, squeeze. And then you reach the left leg up again. And this time that left foot is going to step forward up towards your hand. And then we play with that placement of warrior one. So the back foot drops, right foot comes down. And as you lift up, you might take your hands on your left thigh for a moment. Find that back right heel, really push it down. And then we have that connection from your back heel to the heart, oh, strong, lifting up now as you reach the arms out to the side, easeful. As you open those inner pathways, you might bring your arms up, whole rib cage, and feeling that space. Even the toes opened, no tension. As you rotate your chest to the right, we're gonna to move to warrior two. So the arms reach out to the side, or I'm sorry, right arm back, left arm forward. So here it's a little different in your pelvis and that more like straight up and down through the sides of your body. Feel the feet. It's good to scan the body so we're not forgetting any area. And we do this just by mindful breathing. You can breathe and feel right out through your fingertips. So triangle pose, that left leg starts to straighten. You might take right hand to the hip and focus on the torso, the spine, and that lengthening out your whole rib cage. Remember how we took hands on the ribs even and like pull the rib cage, like lift it up and out to the left. So left hand will then touch the left leg Strong, balanced, feel all the doors open of the chest. Maybe reach that right arm up. Where do your arms go? That really works for your chest. Breathe and feel now. Ah. Awakens self compassion. How to be with this body. Mm, that top arm is going to come down. Both hands back down. You're moving back to downward facing dog. And as we keep awareness, sustain awareness around the chest and the ribs. Move to your plank and then move back to down dog. And just do this back and forth and sensing all the dimensions of your chest. 
And like, oh, the chest kind of doesn't stop there. It's like I have the spine of my head. So just letting the breath and your awareness take you into what feels like your right alignment. Hmm. Good, and then walk your feet towards the center of the mat and bring yourself all the way up to standing. We're just gonna do a couple poses with um, the feet wide apart. So you have to turn on your mat and just step the feet wide. Let's start with taking the toes out to the side. So you're pointing your toes out and you get a little squat. You're taking just a little Squat, but watch the alignment here. We don't want the knees like dropping forward. So this is telling you that your feet need to move. Like, oh, I actually need to like point my feet, you know, maybe more forward. So there's this alignment from your thigh bones pointing right out over your toes. We could do a little kind of pulsation here where you start to straighten your legs. And then you bend your knees and you reach your knees way out to the sides. And you do that a couple more times with chest awareness. So you might, that feeling, oh, there's my ribs lifting up. Space. I don't need to lift my shoulders. And the next time you bend your knees, you're gonna hold this little squat. So I, I know it's kind of funny to use that word comfortable, but make sure that you're comfortable here because we're gonna open the side windows. You're gonna just take your right hand can stay down. Your left arm is gonna reach up. Oh, there's that side body. And then you just switch. Opening that right side. And you switch. Good. Now shoulders stay down as you go back and forth. And just breathe into the side body. Hmm. Good. Soles of the feet just really open, kind of vast and open to the floor. All right. Let's let this go. The Legs can straighten and you'll take your toes forward. So now there's no rotation in your hips, but the feet or the legs are wide apart. Take hands behind again, interlace. Interlace your fingers back there, shoulder blades draw together. So this is you know, pretty similar to what we did earlier, but with the legs wide apart. So lift your chest. Ah, oh, and just feel that pectoral area opening up and then hinge in your hips. You might lift your arms up and draw your shoulder blades together. Drop your head. And as you breathe here, so even though I'm not naming something like be aware of your shoulders, <laughs> if your shoulders are speaking to you here, you might just take the hands down to the floor, you know, if something isn't working for you. I can't list all of the options here. <laughs> Rather, I'll just say your body is the main teacher. And that's why we breathe and we feel and we listen to this teacher. What could you learn in this moment? Notice that you could pull your shoulder blades together a little bit more and lift up. Like you're almost tied to a flat back. And then you fold over again. Ah. Good. And then you lift up again. This time you come all the way up. 
release your fingers, step the feet together, enjoy a moment in Tadasana, find your feet, ground your heels, and as your shoulders relax down, there's that lift expansion of the rib cage as you breathe even take um a consciously a little bit longer deeper breath to deepen awareness to bring in energy and to calm there's a lot of letting go in this practice A lot of stories we hold about our bodies that we need to let go of as we connect a little deeper in what's really happening right now. Good, we're gonna take ourselves right down onto the floor, onto the mat. So as we lay on the back, um, this I feel this heart, like rib cage practice wouldn't be complete without fish pose and bridge pose. So we're gonna start with fish pose. So you can keep your knees bent and your feet on the floor. And we're gonna take the variation of Matsyasana fish pose with your hands. So your arms are right down alongside you along sides of the body, but your palms are facing down and you're actually gonna kind of sit on your hands or your wrists. So you kind of lift the right buttock and you place your arm underneath your buttock and then you drop down. And then the left side. So as I take my wrists underneath me, your palms are down. So maybe your thumbs are kind of touching. And then just go ahead and roll your shoulders under a little bit here. And already, you know, the chest is opening. Now straighten your legs out. Toes point up so legs are active. So the action here is kind of interesting because you just push down into your elbows. As you push your elbows down, you let your breastbone lift up. So really lifting your sternum up. So the action is that pushing down of your elbows and then your back muscles contract. So lift your spine up into this back bend of fish pose. You will have weight, a little bit of weight on your head. And just keep lifting the breastbone as if, imagine that a string was on your breastbone is lifting up to the ceiling. You could even maybe inch your fingers down the backs of your legs a little bit. Straighten your legs. Lift the chest, feel now your whole chest Breathe into this is a, the front door opening. Ah. And just slowly lower down. You could bend your knees, feet on the mat, and then take your arms out from underneath you. And just let the spine be a little more neutral on the floor. So fish pose tends to really open up the uppermost chest. It's a really good preparation before we do bridge pose. So find your feet, push your feet down, ground your shoulders and start to lift your butt away from the floor. Lift 
lifting, lifting. And just really take your shoulders down. Even roll your shoulders under a little bit. So it's good to pause here and feel your whole chest. Feel the whole chest. And then draw your tailbone up. Lift your tailbone up. Breathe through your nose. Feel your whole chest opening up. And yes, this is a back bend, so that front door is really opening. And slowly lower down. Pause. Now, as we practice this again, could you explore bridge pose like tension free? Push into your feet, push and ground your shoulders and start to lift your butt away from the floor. Draw your tailbone up, lifting space around your heart. So let this be heart led. Calm, easeful, slowly rolling down. Release down. Lifting up. Do this just three times. We're lifting and lowering. Pretty slow. Exploring this spaciousness around the heart. The grounding down through your feet and your upper arms and your shoulders. Mm, good. And then pause. So we're going to move into a twist where this twist actually starts where you're laying on your side. So you might shift a little bit on your mat because you want to be laying on your right side. So as you lay on your right side, you're going to bend your knees and your legs are stacking like you have one knee on top of the other. You know, even your shins are stacking and and then reach your arms out to the right. So lengthen your spine here, like position your spine where it's not curved at all, and your ribs are nice and open. And then your top arm, your left arm is going to lift up. And you can watch, keep your eye on that left hand as you start to open, open, open that left arm to the left. So this is going to twist and open your upper body. Breathe and feel the whole chest space. So we've really warmed up for this. Twisting, opening. Breathing, feeling the space of your upper chest. So yeah, with that left arm all the way down on the floor. And if the arm doesn't touch the floor, if that hurts or anything, you can just take your left hand on your hip. You know, that just feels better for your shoulder. But keep breathing and feeling. You might even take your left arm and kind of lift it up 
higher on the floor. Kind of let it slide up. But again, just breathe around the heart and let this be. All of our poses are led by the heart, staying connected. So we're clear, like this is what self-compassion feels like. We might find those moments where the teacher is saying one thing and your body is saying another thing. So you listen to your body. Hmm. Gradually untwist. So let's just take the hand back where it was. And you can place that left hand on the floor and just lift yourself up. And we got to roll to the other side. So I like to just kind of come up, kind of come back up here and then prepare to lay on the left side. So as you're laying on your side, your knees are bent, knees, legs are stacked. It's an interesting position to be aware of your spine, how the spine is, you might feel these natural little curves of the spine, but it's also elongated. Reach both arms to the left. And then right away, you could just lift that top right arm and let it open up, reaching the hand up to the ceiling. Watch your hand. And then opening that right arm. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Feel your chest open as that right arm lands. Ah, so yeah, even your head, your head is just right, how much you're looking over to the right. Feel free to take that right hand, just hand on your hip. The following Breathing around the chest, your ribs. And I feel how this like naturally opens that right side, opening that right window. Staying present, staying connected to your whole body, the whole experience. Make sure that you're here. The mind has not wandered. I'm in my body. Good. Now this time to let go of this, you're going to lift your knees up. So as you lift your knees up, you just roll onto your back. And you can kind of wiggle over so you're back on the center of your mat. Extend your legs out and then reach your arms above your head and just take that big full body straightening, lengthening out here. Ah, as you bring your arms down, bend your right knee and bring it in towards your chest. Do that little squeeze, but keep the chest open. Ah, you breathe, feel a big wave of breath. Switch legs. Feel the chest, the throat, whole spine. Good. And as you let this go, you can move right to Shavasana.
even Shavasana, we get really curious, like well, what feels right and comfortable in your body today? In Shavasana, we'll keep awareness flowing inward. Find a physical pose where you can be completely still. knowing this is what stillness feels like. To be completely still and the mind is bright and alert. So this stillness involves letting go physical tension, bring awareness to your forehead, your whole face, the skin on the face softening, letting go. So good to know this, to know Oh, this is a choice. I can let go of this tension. Even just a little bit. I'm aware of your mouth and your throat. Aware of your whole neck. And bring awareness to your chest. So now we're not moving, we're not stretching. Now it's just awareness. What happens when there's awareness moving around this vast space of your chest? And then bringing awareness to your belly. Another vast realm in your belly. So we're interested in tension and the letting go of tension. And notice how your awareness can lead to this release and letting go. 
when we bring in this beautiful wish, may I be free of tension. Letting go of any seeds of anger, any hostility or hatred. For now, I'm letting go. You might feel the whole body letting go. You might notice I am of the nature to hold tension, but I'm practicing letting go of this tension. whole body letting go. Just for this last minute or so, we'll just bring awareness to the heart and just let the awareness rest at the heart, being close.
So with the sound of the bell, we're really is yet another opportunity to just be awake, to be awake and alert. Not so much like, well, now I can stop being mindful. <laughs> it's really just a transition. So let's, um, I invite you to come back up to seated. Even like, just feeling as well. What if I just moved that short distance, just walked that distance to the heart and noticing how the chest feels, take palms together in front of the heart. We often end with this gesture, this kind of remembering to stay close right here. May this freedom lead to more freedom. knowing that kindness is contagious, we just continue to practice it. May all beings benefit. Let's close with the sound of Om. We'll take a deep inhale. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. For all 